Guys, welcome back to Double Jump Snails. Right now, uh, security breach ruin. That's a little bit on hiatus until Cinnamon's uh, ready to get back up. So, for this little game through, well, we just managed two. I figured might as well just, you know, pass the time. All right, so you seem a bit tense, son. Relax. We're perfectly safe here in this impenetrable bunker. Anywho, it's been too long, my boy. What have you been up to? I imagine you've been off venturing with your daredevil brother of yours. Me? Oh, I've been continuing my research with the paranormal happenings and whatnot. In fact, after one of our last ventures, I became somewhat of an authority in the field. But enough about that. Let me fill you in with our ghostly predicament. See that on the screen? That there is the dark moon. It's a mysterious celestial body that has a pacifying effect on all the ghosts in Evershade Valley. When I heard about it, I jumped to the rare chance to study ghosts in a peaceful environment. It was incredible, my boy. I was doing some sort of the best research of my long and storied career. That is until something snapped inside the ghosts and they suddenly got all hostile. It got so bad I had to escape from the gloomy manor and hide here, where the ghosts can't find me. Of course, I'm not the one to sit around and twiddle my thumbs. I wanted to know why the ghosts freaked out. So I settled in and did some research to figure out what happened. That's when I discovered something truly astonishing. The dark moon had vanished from the sky. And on top of that, the whole Evershade Valley had become enveloped in an eerie fog. Now I can't be sure, but I think the disappearances of the dark moon is what caused all this mess. And what it, or what a mess it is. If we don't do something about it, the ghosts might leave the valley and terrorize the world beyond. Worse still, my research will go to waste. We can't let that happen, my boy. Now I've got good news and now I've got bad news. Wait here. Oh boy. 
The good news is I found a fragment of the dark moon nearby. The bad news is that I found a fragment of the dark moon nearby, meaning that the thing is broken. And this dark moon piece seems to be corrupted by some sort of energy. I reckon it's a disruptive energy that suppresses the dark moon's ability to pacify ghosts. But lucky for us, I've got inventions for all kinds of situations. Stand back, Sonny. <laughs> oh, he's got some wacky invention. <laughs> I've done Luigi. It seems uh, to have regained its original power. <laughs> Did you hear that whooshing noise outside, youngster? Let me check my instruments. Remedy! All the fog around this bunker is gone. Quick, let's take a look at the map in Evershade Valley. <laughs> Luigi, do you know what this means? We should be able to reach, uh, <laughs> reach uh, the Gloomy Manor now. More importantly, it means that restoring the Dark Moon will solve all of our problems. If we find the Dark Moon pieces, the fog of the valley will vanish and the ghost will return to normal. But until then, all those ghosts will need to be contained. That's where you come in, Luigi. Well, you're the best ghost wrangler I know, son. Coincidentally, you're the only ghost wrangler I know. So what do you say, young feller? Will you help me capture the ghosts and restore the Dark Moon? Oh, of course you will. It'll just be like old times. <laughs> Alright, the new poltergeist. We restore the Dark Moon. We'll need to get you properly equipped. I've got the device for the job, uh, but I left it in a gloomy manner. Mind fetching it for me, Sonny? What are you scared of, Sonny? It's just a few harmless ghosts. Well, a few hundred ghosts. And they're not exactly harmless. But look here. With my brains and your, uh... Hmm. We're a bit of a pickle here, aren't we? Well, the only way out of this mess is to restore the Dark Moon. Which means you're going to need some sort of gear, ghost hunting gear, son. But once you know it, I left my new Poltergust 5000 somewhere inside a gloomy manor. Now, so now that I cleared that blasted fog from around the place, I'm sending you in after it. Oh, they still left it to the DS and they didn't make it to the Switch or nothing. Look familiar? This customized DS has an interactive map of the gloomy manor on it. It also allows me to communicate with you when you're exploring. And it's mighty dark in there, so you need, uh, you want this flashlight. Wait, what is that thing attached to? Okay, never mind. Okay, youngster, let's test the DS. Ah, it's not the old one. On the Game Boy Horror. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and mark an important location for you. Okay. That's the garage. I think that's where the I left the Poltergeist 5000. You ready, son? I'll zap you uh, to the gloomy manor with my new, largely untested pixelator. Let's up all the pixels and make it uh, this time. Hold on to your mustache. You legit figured out a way how to teleport. I don't know why we have red pixels when we don't have any red pixels yet. Oh, maybe there is. The flashlight buttons. Oh boy. <laughs> ah man, it's been a while to play on the GameCube one. Luigi's Mansion 3 I also played. Might actually do think for that as well. I'm playing on the GameCube controller. It feels funky, that's for sure. And they know I'm here. Yeah. Hello. Luigi? Come in, Luigi. You there, young feller? Ah, there you are. I was worried that the, ba uh, the battery died in the DS. 
But I turned the screen brightness down, so it should be good for a while. Mm -hmm. You look a little nervous, son. Try to loosen up a bit. Besides, tiptoeing won't get us anywhere. Mm -hmm. You can run by holding B and walking. Now get a move on. Now, I remember playing this on the 3DS. I got all the way to the library, and that's about as much as I remember. But, yeah, graphics look great in this. Kind of impressed. Nope. Well, they look like they're having fun. <laughs> oh no, what did you just take? Can't go through here, not until I get the vacuum. So... Ooh. <laughs> Alright, come on, get back here. Am I able to flash you? Doesn't seem like it. But I will run. Get over here. Almost had him. At least I can still touch stuff. But I can't shake it like I did in Luigi's Mansion 1. You wanna hurt me? Nope. You wanna hurt me? Yay! Uh kinda creepy. Alright. Give me the thing. Okay, maybe not in there. Wait, is there another ghost right there? Lost her ball. Oh. How does this thing drive without an engine? Found it. Good work, Luigi. Now there's a new and improved Poltergust 5000. It's simple to use, just hold down ZR to vacuum. Before you go hunting down the ghost, why don't you test it on some of the junk in that room? Go on, give it a whirl. Good thing. Thank you. Yeah, I don't like the audio. It's not like the same as before. Plays uh, just like Luigi's Mansion 3. Hey, hey. Jeez, he's needy. Oh, yellow. How are you liking the new Polter Ghost 5000 so far, Luigi? Not too shabby, eh? Hmm. Just wait until you catch some ghosts with the thing. Mm -hmm. In fact, there should be a few nearby. Oh, I know, young feller. Mm -hmm. uh, you young fellers are all about learning by doing, but you really should take a look at the guy. Just open up the pause menu and select guide. You'll thank me later. You know what? Why not? Wait, scare scraper? Oh, snap! It's also multiplayer. Alright. Yeah, I'll just briefly do it. 
Can I? Oh, I can still use my C stick. There we go, all the stuff up here. Ah, get over here. Jeez, those coins really do shoot around. Oh no. I suck when it comes up to money falling on the ground. They always disappear. Well, not this time. I don't think that's a door. Thank you. What's in here? Yeah, that's a suspicious lump. Whoa, what's out there? Is that a dog? You have a gem. Oh, now I can't get it down. Hmm. All right. Darn it, money! Gimme. This manor's like loaded. Nothing good here. Nothing. I do want that key though. Yeah, everything shoots a lot faster in here. Doesn't really like gently flow down or nothing. You guys are evil. I can't charge up a flashlight with that. I gotta do that burst thing. Alright, let's see what's in here now. Remembered. Time to get it down. Oh. Hello. Luigi, did you see that green circular panel on the wall? And locks the door. All you gotta do is flash it with the criminy. The Poltergeist 5000 missing the strobe bulb. You'll be able to open up the door that or that door without it. Those pesky ghosts must have hit it somewhere. It looks mm -hmm. like a little green light bulb. Find it post haste. Well, hard to know where they put it. Pretty cool aquarium. I wonder. What's well, a door? And it's a piranha. That is actually kind of scary. Huh. Wait, is that a gem? It is. Got any secrets for me? if I can get it in time. Almost. Yeah. 
Ho-ho! Yeah! Ho! Ha-ha! Hmm... Hmm... Oh! Oh, yeah! Yikes, I actually hurt my eyes. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello there, fella. Don't go flashing yourself with that. The strobe bulb isn't a toy. It's a powerful tool. For one thing, it can activate any of my inventions that feature green circle panels. Mm -hmm. And it might be easy to use. Just aim... Or, it's mighty easy to use. Just aim and press A to flash. Just try it on a nearby door. All right. What do you want now? Yellow. Mm -hmm. That's a ticket, Sonny. But there's more. Crow Bob allows you to stun ghosts by flashing them. Only they uh, then can they be captured. Got that? Now go give those paranormal dust bunnies what for. Hello? Thank you. It's actually kind of dark. Let me turn up the brightness a little. And I don't think I can. Aha! I just did. Yeah, let's turn it up. Alright. I'm going to guess if I pull this. Yep, look at it. Toilet, ground, circle, panel. Alright, let's do this. That actually looks painful. Oh man. If only I could have a Gooigi. Why is there so much coins? Alright, come on, get out of there. Anything else in here? I don't think so. Still like the way he hums the music. Oh boy. Do I get bonus gold for getting more than one? Thank you. That's a spirit, Luigi. Literally. Oh ho ho! Just like old times, eh, feller? Alright, that's enough for now. I'll bring you back to the bunker. Mission complete. Not bad. 
Yeah, only a room. Okay. Jeez. You made it back, and with all of your pixels to boot. Good work, Sonny. You might just make uh, make it out of this mess. Let's see what you sucked up with the Poltergeist 5000. New ghost, mass three weight, three width. I don't know. Treasure next upgrade, two thousand more coins. Incredible! I'll start studying these ghost post haste. Wondering where that pipe goes? All the stuff you collect will go to a super safe vault below. It's a good idea to visit it often to check your progress to see the results of my studies. I've got ghost descriptions, hints, even uh, each other ghost spectral mass. Knowledge is power, after all. Okay, I'll scan the gloomy manor and search for paranormal signals. I reckon the ghost that took the other dark moon pieces is hiding in there. Gear up. Oh, I could go back on the first one and uh, I get it. All right, so now that you're properly equipped, let's find those po moon, uh, dark moon pieces. Dang, ah, my brain hurts. Let's find those dark moon pieces. Paranormal readings are stronger in the north rooms of the gloomy manor, so we should start our research there. But you know what? I am going to have to stop the video here. If you guys like to see more, let me know in the comments below. Thanks.